another rum video, but this time it's Cuban rum. That Havana Club Mini was kind of disappointing, but it did give me an idea. Why don't I take two of the other bottles of Havana Club I have laying around and have a little friendly competition? This is Añejo Blanco. No age statement, but since Añejo means aged, it's definitely seen a barrel. Probably for between six months and a year. Light straw color. Very delicate. Little bit of vanilla. It's nice. It's on the light side compared to other white rums I've had, but I can tell this is going to mix well. And this is the Añejo 3 year. I love it when rums have clear age statements instead of throwing random numbers onto their bottle that don't mean shit. This actually has a lighter nose than the previous one. Oh yeah. This one is also going to mix very well. Now because I'm lazy and uncreative, I was going to make my knee jerk rum drink, which is a daiquiri, but come on, it's Cuban rum, I have to make mojitos. Here's how you make a mojito. Put 10 or so large mint leaves in a glass. Grab your muddler and give those a light press. Add 3 quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, 3 quarters simple, and 2 ounces of the good stuff. Add some high quality club soda, stir to mix, then top with ice. Top off with club soda and stir one last time. Wake up a few sprigs of mint and daintily garnish your masterpiece. My mojitos are complete. Ask 100 different bartenders how to make a mojito and you'll get 100 different answers. I wouldn't consider how I made these the definitive recipe, rather it was based on what I had around. One example, I'm not keen on leaving mint leaves in the glass, but since I'm not drinking it out of a straw, it doesn't matter. Mojito number one. This is with the Añejo Blanco. This is summer drinking right here. Mojito number two. This is with the three-year. This one's definitely better. The differences are subtle, but they're there. If you make this at home, one thing you definitely should do different from what I did is get a smaller glass. The rest of the ingredients are a little lost in all the club soda I had to put in. But no matter, a great drink for warm weather. If you'd like to hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and I'll see you next week.